Welcome to Steel and Mass, Mass Music Radio's Pioneer Podcast. We're located in Quincy Point at the Mass Music Radio headquarters. On today, I should say tonight's show, we sit down with the wordsmith of branded sports. Wordsmith. <laughs> and and South Shores, one of South Shores' finest, Joey Boats. Romano, man, what's going on, bro? I'm good. How are you guys doing? I'm happy to be here. It's the first podcast I've ever done. I'm a little excited. Got yeah. the butterflies going. Oh, I feel yeah. it. It's how, you handle, the, it's how it. you handle the butterflies. <laughs> That's it. Game on the line. You know, yeah, it's, it's it a happen. biological manifestation. You, can, you can't hide from it, dude. You got to embrace it. You got to embrace it. You handle it better than the fucking Houston Texans handle that. F- Bill O'Brien, the goat. We're going we're gonna to get into that, obviously. I'll, I'll let you do your thing. You know, you know what you're doing. Right. Um, Elf in the room here from last week with the New England Patriots season coming to a surprising halt last week. We'll have our takes on what kind of the future holds with the team. Uh, the quarterback under center himself. Just everything to go on. Whole 10 yards there in Foxborough. Uh, we'll also have our NFL picks for our conference championship Sunday next week. I mean, right now we still have the Seahawks. I mean, the Seahawks already beat the Packers, right? Uh, I, that's not a fact, but I, I think it, it, what the streets could, are saying. Yeah, that's what the streets, what the streets are saying. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, I this, hope they do. This is going coming out Monday or Tuesday, so like they they already won. Okay, got uh, it. Yeah, we'll go, we're we're going to go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we'll, can edit it if not, right? Yeah. 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 I, I think we just let it ride. Yeah, we'll take two takes. Do the second take. If you listen to this right now, the Green Bay Pack is half one. <laughs> <laughs> we all bet that. Oh, I so. like that. Well, well, devil's Yeah, exactly. There. We always yeah, just yeah. cut it back and forth. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, Adobe. Sweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, lastly, we'll have our uh, Steel Salute, uh, my bonehead of the week, and Magic Mike Minute, I'm looking forward to what's going on there today. Mike, how about it? Me too, yeah. I, I think it's going to be a really good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I think the other elephant said. in the room we should bring right up is <laughs> that Mike Steele is having... We, we This is our first Sunday recording. We said it was going to be Sunday fun day. Mike... A little bit too took, much of a yeah. fun day. Bit too yeah, much of a fun day. What's <laughs> up, dude? Spit it out. You should have texted us. <laughs> Spit it out. You should have texted us. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get the memo. We, we, we didn't, didn't get, get the memo. We've got to be blackout yeah. drunk tonight. You want to run da- down like how your day is gone? Or they're acting like they didn't know they're going to the Irish pub. Like they're acting like it's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Can you just tell us what your evening, what, what happened from he's, last night till today? He's, he's looking like the Houston Texans defense right now. No, I'm looking like yeah. fucking scumbag Red Sox cheating. Fucking, oh, I <laughs> uh, you guys. New York um, Yankees, did they win this? Did they win this year? Did they win the World Series? They will. They will? No, they, they, they win last year? I, I, I forgot. Didn't. I didn't watch they the whole didn't. playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, all right. Soon, yeah. We'll, we'll get back to you. You know, we'll, <laughs> enough with you. We're gonna back get, to stealing we're gonna, ass. We're going to get to our guest here, Joey Boats, man. So, um, oh, it's fucking ridiculous. Obviously, seeing you on social media, man, I've seen the whole Joker thing. Just, uh, yeah, kind of give me a rundown. I get those, like, process going into those videos, man. Well, I'm a social media influencer. Which means that you just <laughs> post stuff and you pretend like you're a bigger deal than you actually are. Um, but yeah, Let it ride. Let yeah, it it's probably yeah. It's not much more to say. Yeah, I actually fucking hate social media. I think we'll get into that. I don't like. I literally don't go on. I go on Twitter every once in a while. I'll post my video. I like, just get off. I think it's just a cesspool <laughs> of like just degenerate lunatics that think their opinion matters when it really doesn't. So on a variety, you just drop in. Make I draw. It's very narcissistic. Like I drop in. I'll just post videos and then I just get off. Because if I'm on it too long, <laughs> yeah. I just get pissed. It's like these people. It's just, ugh, dude. It's just this breathing, like this breeding ground for just like toothless jackasses. <laughs> With, like, just enough Wi-Fi to convince the world that they're complete idiots. <laughs> like, yeah, just yeah. enough Wi-Fi. To just be like, Barely. Okay. Yeah. They went to Panera, they would stand no chance. Panera Bread. Yeah, I used to do work at Panera. <laughs> I used to do all my uh, schoolwork at Panera Bread. Something about the jazz music and the fucking French bread. I don't know. Oh, it's a good French place bread, to get yeah, that yeah, done, yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because, plus, you can order that the, the small Coke so you can sit there and, like, justify your existence, essentially, <laughs> for two hours. And you can just keep refilling it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't say anything. Don't and then other sense, you're just kind of holding you, John, just waiting for something to happen. Yeah, and there's that yeah. guy that's constantly <laughs> fucking vacuuming. There's this one guy, like, for some reason, Panera Bread, they're constantly vacuuming the floor. And it's like, to the point where it's like, how much stuff is, I don't know, it's probably the cleanest shit restaurant on the planet, but... I don't know. Big Maybe. Bread, I'm a big Bread. Yeah, <laughs> they tried I do to like be. The Turkey Bravo sandwich is the GOAT. Yeah. Yeah. The mac and cheese. I, I never knew there was mac and cheese. There. Oh, I think that's it's really yeah. good mac and cheese. It's like the white cheddar stuff, right? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's good. But yeah, mac and cheese. Is it really amazing. It's, it's, it's up there in the power. <laughs> KFC mac and cheese is pretty good. I think the goat. Uh, this is a cliche opinion, but it's probably that white cheddar Annie's. 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 You never restaurant? Heard of, no, no, no Annie's. No, the pretzels. You saying? 
No. Uh, what? Oh, oh, and he's the macaroni and cheese. Yes. Right? Okay, the, the cheap shit. Okay, the, the bunny, the rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You buy that at like Stop and Shop? Yeah, yeah, no. It's your oh, local, wow. local supermarket. I, I really wow, wow, wow. Okay, all okay. right. right. I'm going to have to get from there. Bad start to the. Po- okay, we'll get into it. <laughs> We're back. You should do a taste test in this podcast. Po- I'm telling you, I, Annie's, I like Annie's mac and cheese is like. That good? Oh, dude, it's. Yeah. Um, we're going to do a line for me. This is guy's doing a line for me, dude. And he's mac and cheese. <laughs> I kind of want to get into it. He, so you were a contestant in the Barstool Idol? Yes. So run it down to me. So the winner, the, the uh, Mantis kid, right? That was it? Yeah. So I was kind of... Yeah, Marty Mush, kind of. Marty so Mush, he, he's not been... Not going in. But he's been, he's been good. Marty Mush was uh, actually the... I mean, everybody that we were there with was the man. It, it was a weird thing to be a part of because it's like... And my I, that's what I've been trying to do for like 10 years. So then you get there and it's like fuck, you know, like like you you be like, oh, I was like, just give me a shot, just give me a shot, just give me a shot, and you finally get in the room and it's like, oh, uh, like a lot of drinks were thrown around that week. Like I just, well, it's just anxiety. Food and like maniacs just to like well, stay calm. I, I was nobody else would, but <laughs> dude, it's the thing is, it's like I didn't, I never had a Twitter, and you get in the room the first day and they're like, you need to come up yeah. with a Twitter. And I'm like, fuck. I, so I just, I made a Twitter. I'm just like, Joey Bags was taking, like, everybody used to call me Joey Bags. I'm just like, I was wearing a boat shirt at the time. And I just put Joey Boats. And then after that, I've just been Joey Boats. And it was like, how'd you, how, how'd you, like, dude, everybody in my site just calls me Boats. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. It's like, I nobody calls me Boats. <laughs> I literally just, I was wearing a boat shirt at the time. I just put it in. And that's like, that turned hysterical. out to be. Especially a new nickname and like, Probably like what you're like mid twenties and like yeah, like, where did this come from? You yeah. can't give yourself a nickname either, dude. Yeah, and yeah. I just did. Like I, I didn't realize <laughs> the consequences would be like, okay, this is what you're gonna be for life. Yeah, your boats now. Yeah. I'm, like, All right. yes. I'm going through a similar thing. Someone yeah. call me Magic Mike, and like now I, I that's go, it. Yeah, people are like, what's up, Magic? And I'm like, fuck. That's like <laughs> final answer, like locked in, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like music I goes down. Male, like, oh, 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 oh. I picked a male stripper to be. Yeah. <laughs> Not it's, terrible, but not great. Yeah, not yeah. bad, dude. <laughs> Wasn't there a craze with like uh, the nine beers, like nine hot dogs? You ever get into that? I know that was like during that idle time, but they were like trying to get people to do with it. The, the nine Chicago, beers, nine hot dogs? yeah, like during yeah. The, like a baseball game, the White Sox Dave guy did it. Oh. But they were like, I remember watching a video. They were trying to introduce the idle people, like, oh, if you want to do that, if or if you're not in the drinking, but like you never got into anything like that. Or, that was yeah. the dumbest thing we did there. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm like, being like, I was like, that's retarded. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. it was the dumbest thing we did because you're. Sitting there with like nine guys, like I said, that you don't know, and you're watching some shit ass fucking like mid season baseball. <laughs> like, like, there's no way to generate content. If it's a football game or something like that where you can get excited over certain things, that's fine. But like, we were just sitting there, like, I don't give a fuck about the Diamondbacks. Like, I was watching, I will say though, I'm like irrationally overconfident about challenges like that. Like, I thought I was gonna be able to do it in five innings. Not the beer's not the issue, the beer was never the issue, it's the hot dogs. Really? You have, I'm telling you, maybe some people, I can eat a decent amount. Whoa. Maybe, yeah. See, maybe I might be, you have like four or five like hot dogs, you start like sweating and shit. Like it's not, yeah. The beers, I did the beers. It's just the hot dogs are like fucking. Sierra Wildcard guy comes, I told you Anton, the guy comes on the show sometimes, like he's like an eating champion. He like, he's trying to get into competitive eating. He's he's won a couple low grade contest I'd, I'd say good for him like some ice creams he ate like a 13 burger at Grumpy White's once like it was, 13 it was burgers intense. it was, it was pretty intense. gross did you imagine <laughs> going to like the, the hot dog like honey like where are you going it's like oh I'm just going out to smash like, yeah, give like me a second. 60 boiled fucking pork sausages on, tonight. on ESPN2 like give, in the hot sun like <laughs> Keep an eye out. Hey, honey, give me a kiss yeah. before I fucking rack it Yeah, because yeah. you're not going to be... I want, does Joey Chestnut have a wife? Like, I'm, I, I'm curious no. now. He has to have at least a couple, like... Uh, he's got to. He's got to have some... Groupies are small. I was about to say, yeah, like, several. He had the, uh... No, there's definitely some... There's definitely women out there that want to fuck the hot dog guy. But, you know, there's certainly, like, that's... It's 100% a situation where it's, like... Heard you ate, can eat 70 hot dogs in yeah, 10 minutes, saw that's you, fucking hot. Saw you sweating with hot dog juice, like, dripping out of your mouth at fucking 2.30 in the afternoon on the ESPN2. Like, yeah, before the July. Yeah, July. Before July. Before July. And then it's like 95 degrees out. Yeah, yeah we would have attended, but we were too I, we, busy. We, we gotta normal. talk about the hype man, though. The, the guy with, like, the straw hat. That guy's electric. You want to talk about guys who have the perfect job. Like, that guy was built for that. Yeah. <laughs> 
built. We, we he's talk about built him. for it. Like, I, I feel like we talk about him like every two weeks, and like he just puts <laughs> Bruce Buffer in like a body bag. The shame. Yeah, yeah, the like shame. That guy's really. fucking amazing. Do you think he even does anything other than that during the year? Like, what, no. what else? Is, he might just have to show up one day a year. He might, and he, he just vacation. I could, yeah. I could see him like he could, he's probably like running up like a bunny ranch in like Reno or something. No, that would be cool. It's like that guy's literally the like most electric like, human of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of pressure. Did anybody see the thirty for? They had a thirty for thirty on um. Him and Ch- Chestnut and Kobayashi. I and need like to that see that. Yeah, yeah. There was like he was so over. fucking serious. Like he's one of those <laughs> guys that, that we. I would feel bad having this conversation if he was in the room because like he he takes it serious. Like, he's yeah, not he's, fucking he's, around. He's, oh, he's there he's, 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 he's a gamer. Hey, if you're gonna be the best at something, like be the best. Yeah, I mean he's he's there to watch hot dogs get married. Like, he's, he's like <laughs> it's a it's a bad day to be hot dog. No, no, the best part is like because all these guys are like secondary guys. Like there's no way they're being Joey Chestnut. Yeah. It's like the all time champion and like Twinkie eat and it's like yeah. they bring up a different like everyone's a champion and like it's some different food. It's like, oh yeah, hot dog ate my thing. It's like yeah. it's like uh Twizzlers are like something, you know, like I can I can eat like five hundred of those, but I can only eat like ten hot dogs. Here's a good question. <laughs> if, if if you think what is the most confident food item you think you could be the best in the world at eating? Uh, <sighs> I think I could put down 300 freeze pops. <laughs> I was thinking That's about that the other day. I think I could just complete. But knowing if I could put down, if I think I could put down that many, you know the champion. Yeah, is probably put down like twelve hundred in a day. But you got—that's the thing. You pick your one, and you—that's your one. I think I figure it out. I bet freeze pops might not even be a. a, That might be a good niche. You don't think you get like a cold since like that'd be tough. No, I I think I could. I think I could wear that. Grow up, yeah. 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 I'm made out of iron, dude. (laughs) (laughs) The freeze pops shut this man down. Freeze (laughs) freeze pops and shut me down. I know. I'm taking those freeze pops. I'm taking it to the bank, dude. Either that or meth. <laughs> one or the other. Yeah, that's I mean, solid. Yeah. At that point, pick pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good at taking Just down there. Stay away from competing with the methadone mile people or like people yeah. who are underground in Vegas. That's they, not the they, They'll probably beat you. They'll probably take. This surprise of people where I live in Weymouth that can take me out. But. <laughs> Shout out Weymouth. Guy lives yeah. behind right me. Over practice, the bridge. practice, practice. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> gotta keep going. <laughs> Gotta be just scrubbing the floorboards at three o'clock in the morning. Like, what the fuck are those just, people doing up there? Just staring into like surveillance cameras at all times. Yeah, it's like, sports going on. It's not clean enough. I the floor. What are you looking at this? You look at that, that blind saw. I think we, we can use that. We can use that in the, uh, on the toilet. <laughs> So, so either freeze pops or <laughs> like porcelain pine yeah, 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 like both stars with peas and use the car. I think you might be the champ in that. Yeah. I mean, we might be able to do it. We'll, we'll make that happen. <laughs> yeah. 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 You need like a sponsored <laughs> bull again, bull again. You think you think the Seven Eleven's open down the street? <laughs> like, Picks them up. <laughs> Barstool Idol. Did you think you did you ever think you could win? Like. I knew down, I, I coming down the end. Were you like I'm gonna I got this or were you like Prez told me he was going. to... He told me he was gonna hire me when we at what, like yeah after at, the, at the end the the final thing he's like I want to actually hire like all of you but he came but over after that win. individually and was like yeah we're looking to hire you just send me an email just send him a bunch so of emails happened? nothing what the fuck that's I know pretty, fucked up. pretty pi- yeah it pissed me off a you got bit. beef with but, him a little bit no I mean I'm no because he was the only guy that liked me throughout the whole thing mm. like the other guys just didn't give a shit Prez thought I was funny and then. So I, I also think Prez is like the most talented guy at that site by like oh, a yeah. country mile. I mean, like I, I, think, I won't argue that you on yeah. that one at all. He's but, yeah, I'm very, like if they ever brick by brick. Me, I'm back. But right now <laughs> I mean, I'm put a very spiteful person. Like fuck <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like like but you know I have no reason to tell him fuck all. Like yeah. just I didn't I didn't I shouldn't have won it. But back on his talent there, just putting on his sex tape and just like immediately just getting like positive vibes from it. Just oh like, yeah, the thrust. Like, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I think my buddy sent it sent it to me. I don't know. I mean, normally I'd find myself just looking up gay porn, but like he, <laughs> he sent it to me, and uh, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I look, I'm like, "Oh shit, good for you, dude." <laughs> I, that whole weekend, I was like, "I gotta find. I need to find someone to make a sex tape with." To, oh to, yeah, to, I was like, "I want a portnoy so much." I want no. I want a sex tape leaked. The, the problem is Boy, just having sex. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, get the you yeah, actually, one, of these, one of these days. You have to have <laughs> sex to have one leaked. And that's always yeah, a very we difficult. We gotta have sex soon, boys. And like, does it, does it like, can it be like an absolute four cow? Like that, like there, it gets a released, cow. or does it have to be like a, does it have to be like an eight or nine? I don't know. Yeah. I'd have yeah, to you find don't somebody. Fuck a cow on camera. No, no, no. no, no I, I, I think so too. I think so too. No, yeah, I get, it. I get. That. I think, but you could, or you could. 
Just make it look sexy, whatever you do. Make You gotta look good yeah. if you're sexy. Oh, yeah. Go, you gotta look fuck good. Her. It's about your talent, <laughs> not her. Yeah. You, the fucker is her. Fucker is right, yeah. I'd have to find a way that her face doesn't get released, because that's gonna be that's gonna be terrible for her, but... Because you had sex with me, but... I'm saying I also gotta pay a guy to, like, hack into my computer and release it. Because if they found out that you low-key released it, it's that's, like, okay, then it's like... True. Yeah, what you are know? you up to, buddy? You gotta cover your tracks, dude. I don't know, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, we gotta figure this one out. You can figure, yeah. Do you mind if I dip? Is that gonna be a weird thing? No, oh, fucking... I feel like that's like... Are you kidding I'm, me? I'm just... I'm fucking exhausted right now. I was reading something, like, the Marines, like, whatever, like... When they're tired, they'll throw dip in their fucking eyelids to stay awake because they got nothing else. Right I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> where is it? Where's the hell of a content? You're, you're, looking, at, you're <laughs> looking at this. Camera. I'm looking at this one. Okay, looking I'm like looking. One. There's no camera here, <laughs> but for the whole th- time I've just been like looking at. You're this. looking into the void. Yeah, like I didn't know where the camera was, but I knew one wasn't right here. This is us. Uh, say say hi to the people at home. What's up? <laughs> All right, now we're good. Now yeah. we're on top. There we go. Back in the dips. Um, what, what do you yeah. what, what's your the your what do you think the best piece of content you've created in your life is because you've made a lot like you're definitely a creative I like dude the, it's it was just a video I like the Stephen A um, impersonation that was pretty good but that was another thing we were talking about this earlier with social media it's like you can pour time and effort into something like literally like five days of work or like even a month of work or something like that and nobody will see it I made a uh, a thirty minute documentary. About I tried out for I the um, that. That for was, the Mass Pirates, that was and that's like one of that took so fucking long, like editing, filming, all that shit, and like nobody saw it. <laughs> but the Stephen A thing, I walked out at the Barcelona thing, like just across the street, put a fucking camera into my mug <laughs> and talk for thirty seconds, and that gets like eight hundred re- retweets and stuff. Like, but most most proud of it better of anything. I used to rap. Here's the deal. I get it. All right, so let me go. To, I'm a really good lyricist. I'll put that out like very good. I wrote this song Humble called Greg. Flawed Logic. That was I'm not even gonna be humble about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm objective. And it was. And it was a really well written thing. It was like a four minute song and it just nobody listened to it. You know? So but like that's the most proud I've ever been of anything that I've done. Yeah. And just nobody yeah. But I also didn't take myself you white kid rapping like that. Society, that subgroup of society is fucking. Oh, yeah. They all think they're like legit. Like, there's nobody. I used that, to do it too. M16. M16. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dude, like that's what, like you. You get approached by these people like, yo, darling, I saw I saw you music. My like, dude, I, I fucking grew up in Hanover. Like, yeah, you gotta talk to me more normal than that. Like, I don't, like, I don't respect. Stop you. this. Like, yeah. Stop yeah. this. Like you grew up in like hell. Like. You guys have like three lens crafters. You know, from the, like, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, Seen the fighter too. Yeah, you know, from the street, dude. Like, but yeah. So <laughs> that's your favorite. That's that, it. That flawed one. logic on. Flawed logic. We'll have to. Look. I, I have not heard that. Like we were yet. talking about though, like you can put like a lot of creativity into something that like no one really will give a shit. It's like the simpletons of the world that like look at the baby Yoda like gift or something like. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that before, and then that gets the clicks instead of something like I said. You put your. Hard and yeah. like, sold to like it, it's just crazy. I, 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 dude, everyone should watch that documentary of you trying to get what, what was that arena football open tryouts? That yeah, was, the concept is hysterical. <laughs> but and it was you still get funny, <laughs> serious. Well, I've awesome. always had a stick that I <clears throat> I could have been the greatest quarterback of all time. I was like a third. <laughs> I was a third string uh, quarterback for our eighth grade <clears throat> football team, and basically like I'd sprained my ankle one day at practice. And the diagnosis was essentially just, like, elevate it, like, get back on the field in three days. So that's what I did. But, you know, I never had that same drive out the back foot, and, like, windows started closing, you know. And, like, <laughs> once the windows go, but, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's over. over. It's Your over. confidence goes, and it's just – but there's no worth crying over spilled milk. But I thought that would have been my comeback. I could have had, like, a – who's the guy that was bagging groceries? Um, Kurt Warner. <laughs> yeah, I could have been the next Warner. Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner used to bag groceries before he was a uh, NFL. Oh, you remember that's what yeah. 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 He went to the CFL. Yeah. He was like yeah. bagging yeah. groceries. Yeah. yeah. So there was my like angle. Good guy, local guy. Just Didn't step make o- the just team. Just a step away. We well, here's when... the thing. They told me they'd give you a call at the end of the week, like a year ago, but they never specified like what week. So I mean, I could. I'm Is still that the... expecting a call? <laughs> like you go out. You so you went off for quarterback with the Mass yeah. Pirates. Yeah, yeah. That's I I emailed the guy and I'm like, hey man, like here's a couple videos I made. Like I'm not gonna. It's a joke, but I'm not going to, like, be a complete ass clown at the trial. He's like, yeah, that's fine. I, like, showed up. I'm like, you guys touch with steroids? He's like, no, nah, shoot him up. I'm like, right. 
I'm like fucking five nine, like a buck sixty, soaking wet. These guys are all like fucking running like four sixes, four fives. There's some guy got cut from the Texans two weeks ago <laughs> next to me, like literally like lifting up like the fucking bleachers. And I just had like a bandana on. I ran like I do. I don't think I was slower than Brady. I really do. Like we all shit on Brady until until you get out there and like pour to throw your fucking like dick on the table and run it yourself. I'm fucking slow. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad it was, but yeah. We should talk about Brady. Yeah, speak, that was, speaking that's of Brady, a good man. Segue. That's, yeah, that was this a good nice, all part of the plan. Is he, is he done? Is he done? Is he done? No. no. Not uh, done no. as a Patriot, I should no, say. I don't I know think he's so not either. retiring. But, I, um, yeah. So obviously the Patriots, they, they uh, got upset by the Titans last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, AFC wild card loss. Um, really, that turmoil. Turn around this offseason. What are they going to do? Um, luckily, their offensive coordinator is going to come back because all the head coaching jobs went to shit. So that's another plus, I think, why Tom Brady will be back. A, the Browns got a coach? Yeah, not it's not named Josh McDaniel. Okay. So that's, I all think right. if they got the Vikings offensive coordinator. But I think that's a big step in the right direction. I think, um, you know, the, he's going to want his money, which is completely understandable, man. He's been getting underpaid to his entire career. Could see something, I don't know, like a, like a two-year, $56 yeah. million dollar thing. But, I mean, we just need Brady back. That is just the bottom line. I was thinking, like, if, <clears throat> what do you think if he did leave? I don't think he's leaving. But if he did leave, like, what's the best, most plausible and the best place that he could possibly go? The only place where I thought, and it, and it can't happen now because they said they're committing to him. Mitchell Trubisky, I thought the Chicago Bears would be a really good fit, but that's not in the car. It's not going to happen. Uh, the Chargers, I just don't I don't see it. I don't think it's a big enough fan base, nothing to get him hard enough to go, like, big, okay, I'm going to go sign with them. I, 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 nice I, weather. I, nice yeah. weather would get him. I mean, go back I home, mean come like... on now. He wants to play for some passionate fans and like that good personnel, and they, they just don't have it. They, they We were talking about this last uh, night, though. Like, if Giselle's like, hey. I want to move to L.A. I mean... Yeah, like going to the gonna West gonna, Coast. Are you not like going to go to the West Coast? Yeah. He's got, uh, he's, well, they already have a house. Which means they already have a house right. out there, so I mean, like, they yeah. they can be wherever, dude. That dude has a million Maybe she houses. gets to make the decision on this one. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully yeah. he stays... He, uh, he he doesn't belong anywhere else other than New England. I, got, I can't up. see him anywhere else, It'll be man. fucked up to leave us. The big thing, fucked Yeah, the big thing is they're going to have to get some free agent guys. Obviously, oh, think, things fell through this year with... Tony Brown just like wilding out. I mean, he's yeah. we should have kept monster him. content guy. Like, yeah. I was reading. I went. I looked up Antonio Brown the other day in the top five stories, like in all different areas of like the culture. Like he was, it was like talk shit about the Patriots. Like the next story was like says he'll only play with Tom Brady next year. Story after that was like a domestic violence thing, and the story after that was like. He's like, uh, like started a rap career. I'm like, this guy's all over the place. Now he's not, trying to fight Logan Paul. He's <laughs> now he's fighting Logan Paul. He's, 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 he's unbelievable. <laughs> he should just monetize himself. Yeah. yeah. I have like have Antonio Brown dot com, and he just like all the stuff that he's doing like only goes to that website and just drive traffic. I'd go. I'd probably my homepage. <laughs> <laughs> Be a buddy. You guys are <laughs> He look good in a mass pirate uniform. <laughs> oh my god! I should reach out. He'd probably he'd probably do it. He's a he, lunatic. You, he, he is an absolute lunatic. He'd be like, I'll, I'll, only come, I'll, I'll only come out and play for the Mass Pirates if Joey Boats is throwing me past Oh, my God. Bang. That would be the way to get <laughs> eyeballs, yeah. <laughs> me go with Antonio Brown. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know how would you convince him. I don't think you need to convince him. Just be like, dude, they'll sign you, and they'll come over and play. I, I would like a, I'd like to spend, like, a day with him just to see how his brain does, like, work. What, what like, oh, he's he, just so, I've never seen someone so all over the place that's, He's got talent. He can probably do anything, but everyone's just like, dude, you're nuts. He's well, got to get rid of the maniac vibe. Well, there was the, uh, he posted something on Instagram of like him at like, it was a behind the scenes of that, like his music video where he's just like, he can't play guitar, but he's like playing a guitar and there's a bunch of like average looking women behind him like dancing. And I would pay so much money to be on that set. Because it's like, it's it's him obviously funding the whole project. So he has final say over stuff. And you know he's just being a maniac to everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This doesn't make sense, Antonio. He's like, nah, nah. Like, it'll be cool. Like, let's just that do rap it. video was wild. He, oh, ridiculous. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. is this the one we're talking about with him playing guitar and average woman? I think it's a new one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a new one. Yeah, yeah. A new one. one. It was just, like, ridiculously awful, like, lyrics. If you're really, like, listening to it. Yeah, but, I'm not but, expecting but, him to be running the game. It's just, oh, no, it's just like, him with, like, a lot of, like, like just bitches Billy and, like, people in the back. Like, it was all for show, not for the actual, like, singing itself. Which I grow to appreciate. I mean, that that's a guy who's all about the figure, all about 
really cashing checks. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. You could rap with them, too. You could even... rap with them, be on the oh my fucking God. arena you football team. The Mass me? Pirates rap, dude. <laughs> you, guys, you guys could take oh, yeah. over. Shout out to the Mass Pirates for letting me do that, by the way. The guy the guy who runs it was pretty cool. Like he was We should cool. all catch a game this year. Have they already started? Or is that over? That, I don't that, know. That's like I said, I'm a very spiteful person until I get signed with that. So you won't be going anywhere. I won't be going to the Mass Pirates. But he did shut. But yeah, very nice people. I have no reason for you to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> what what makes sense? Why DC guys, you gotta, yeah, be, yeah. You gotta be the DC of Worcester. I think that's that's they really cool. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to a bull that's riding a thing there, and um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I went to <laughs> bull riding, dude. We have all this shit about like concussions and shit in football. Bull riding, the South just doesn't give a fuck, dude. I saw this guy literally get kicked in the head. By, like, the bull after he got launched off. I'm like, how is this legal? <laughs> like, he got destroyed. I'm like, this guy's head's like a potato. <laughs> like, uh, like mush right now. we got to find but a fool who will do that. That would be some good content exactly. for bull riding. They, oh, man. I'm not, I, I might do it. I, want, I was in Manage Vegas a couple weeks ago, like, uh, New Hampshire, whatever. We were going skiing the day after. A place called, like, Manage Vegas has, like, a bull riding thing. I was so... But I was like pissed drunk on the thing. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I lasted more than like five seconds. Yeah. yeah. The thing is though, when you get launched <laughs> from that, the, the feet aren't still moving. So oh, yeah. no way to get your, you know, your bell rung. Yeah, one of my friends, he got on like the horse or the bull, whatever, the wrong way. And he's just like hanging off and like the entire time. But he lasted like 20 seconds. I gave him a lot of credit. I'm like, no, that's this a dude's lot not too, even, yeah. This dude's not even on the fucking bull. He's like, <laughs> oh, he's just hanging by a thread. That's one of those like things I'm irrationally confident I, I think I'd be able to do. We had some argument the other day. If you got, like, 10 balls kicked to you at the goal line on a kickoff, like, average team, like, say, 75 on Madden on both ends, like, you think you bring it out to the 20 once? One uh, time? Yeah. Out of 10? Who, who's who's defending? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a 75-75, like, computer simulation. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, I think one time I could. Yeah. You just got to get one, one guy time. to slip. One and time. You my, my big, my big we'll thing, that. My big <laughs> thing <laughs> is, like, if you're... On like the eighth or ninth time, like you probably already got buried at least like five times. Like, how are you failing after that? Oh yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. Well, I want to have my. Re- yeah, if I'm saying I'm gonna get it the one time, I gotta have be re-energized every time and just pissed off enough on the ninth time. That <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm getting it. But then I, I then it goes back to that forty time. I'm like, these guys can run like four fives and they're barely getting to the twenty. Dude, Matt Slater, like, Matt Slater, like it's it's over. Like that guy's like, yeah. face when you catch the ball. I don't know. It'd be close. Or it wouldn't at all. Like, yeah. Or I, I would just get to like see, a seven. I'm on that side. I don't think we could do it. I think we get fucking. Clocked. We'll test that out. That's another yeah. content idea. Like, like, we'll get that going like, this yeah. summer. We're gonna like, we're gonna get average ass fucking people. Not we won't get. In order to get the we'll twenty get people going, it's not gonna be you. It's gonna be someone like laying someone out, getting you to the twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be like That's an like, NFL blitz. You know when they <laughs> when they grab you and they throw yeah. you seven yards. In the oh no! Direction. Oh no! What if I get that fuck? wall to get like my feet up on and like over a guy, like I'm doing it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, NFL yeah. Street thing, but like I don't Great know about game. just like a, a <laughs> conventional NFL field. I would just get not... crushed on the first one and be like, "All right, if we get this." I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd take out my. Still, you think Brady's coming back? Absolutely. Not a doubt in your mind. A doubt. Uh, why no doubt? Why no doubt? Why no doubt? Because it's Tom fucking Brady. Why not? <laughs> where else? <laughs> say less. <laughs> where else? Where, where else do you think he could go? Go to the Chargers. Why, why would he go to the Chargers? I don't think he's going to the Chargers. We already said that in this pod. Oh, no, anything. So, so <laughs> yeah, like, God, Jack, me, dude. <laughs> it I is what you. it is. Yeah. That 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 game was tough to watch. I, oh yeah. I'm, I'm not at, I wish they were playing yesterday. Why not Tennessee? What's your favorite game? The what next do you mean, one. What, to win the Super Bowl? No, why not Tennessee? Brady next year. Ah. Uh, Vrabel. I know. Like, 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 Brady and Derrick Henry. Like, yeah. Running game. Like, nobody's talking about Tennessee. Like, if they, they have it. Like, I, what, they committed to fucking, what's his name? Like, Tannehill. Tannehill. Vrabel. I saw, I saw a picture of Tannehill's wife today. And, oh, my God. Oh, she's, yeah. She's, she's rock, like, yeah. I think Lauren. Shout out to Lauren. I think it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> They like almost look like twins. Like, like it's kind of crazy. But yeah. Like similar. Lauren Tannehill. Yeah. What? I feel like Lauren Tannehill sounds like. <laughs> Why you got something to say about yeah, Lauren yeah, Tannehill? Yeah, yeah, Lauren's yeah, his yeah. wife. Yeah. yeah okay. Lauren Tannehill sounds like a like a genuine name. Like she was yeah. named Lauren Tannehill. Like an SI model or something. Yeah. Like, like oh, that's Lauren Tannehill. <laughs> like you know, like. Yeah. So, uh, it's like the yeah. It's like the Jack the the Jacksons who live on the corner. It's like. They yeah, have like four smokes of where like the dad makes like multi million dollars. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You got yourself a Jackson. I'm like, catching yeah. up to steal here. I'm getting my Sunday fun day. Uh, you ain't late. catching up to steal, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Oh man, well, I'm gonna work. 
there we go. Um, so Joey Boats, so tell me this kind of like promotion about like Clemson with the Peach Bowl. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, I, oh yeah, I haven't even started out. So I, I, I write for Brandon. So I used to write for. Him. I don't blog anymore, but Brandon Sports, they're like a social, like a pop culture blog, similar to Barstool or something like that. But they teamed up with these guys, a Game Day Guide, and they like provide transportation services to. Athletics, anyway, blah, 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 I don't know, it's, it's over, I'm not going to promote it anymore, but, <laughs> but uh, fuck it, I didn't yeah. win, <laughs> but they, they, yeah, they basically assign every blogger, like, a, a college football team at the start of the year, and basically, if that team ended up playing in the Peach Bowl, you got to go to the game for free, uh, airfare, all that stuff covered, Clemson did their job, Clemson got won to every the Peach game. Bowl, they won every game, yeah, and they just didn't get selected, because the Peach Bowl was the Oklahoma LSU, right? Yeah. So they fucked them. They they said, okay, you're not getting the four seed because we'd rather see Clemson and LSU in the title game. Yeah. And that's why you don't get your fucking free trip. Yeah. That's I, was, I was kind of pissed. Yeah. I'm not a big college football fan guy. I'm obviously a big football fan, but like that was that was tough. A free ne- trip's a free trip. I've never won anything, so I was like, oh, this is gonna be the year. Motherfucker. And it did in two seconds. Like their announcement was like, oh yeah, Clemson. Not getting the pizza. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> it's like, in a, like it, it feels like they just like stole your bike. You know that was what it was. Yeah, it was a nice bike, too. <laughs> like a Schwinn. Well, that being said, I, I, we have Clemson LSU playing um, this upcoming Monday in the college football title game. And I think LSU is minus five, minus five, minus six. You're saying Clemson's going to win outright, right? I know you're not a big college football guy, but you're saying. I have no analysis tired. to back it. Yeah, but <laughs> I would put like the house. <laughs> on Clemson, because I just feel like you have LSU's been pumped up the entire year. Clemson's been there three times. It's like, you know, they're getting no respect because they play cupcakes. I mean, it's hard not to get fat when all you eat are cupcakes and fucking, we <laughs> just call them fat, all that type of shit, dude. But they're going to go in there. You know, no one wants to talk about the guys that have won it, you know, two times already. Tra- Trevor Lawrence has yet to lose a game in his college career. Yeah, and plus, dude, it's LSU. Disgusting. Fucking, <laughs> He's a big LSU dude. No, oh, LSU. but I think go. they're just burying teams. Like the minute they play somebody who's like relatively competent, yeah. it's going to be like, oh shit, we haven't, we haven't, you know, faced this yeah. yet. I hate comparing like NFL to college, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's, but that's what happened to the Baltimore Ravens the other night. They hit, like yeah. finally the playoffs come. They like play a team that's like. I don't know. They prove and they beat the Patriots last week, and they just ran all over them. Yeah, they don't know how to play from behind. I love. I I fucking really like that Baltimore team. I, I think they're a likable team, but like, I was so happy when they got fucking peace last night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was, was, awesome. it was it, that was that was fun to watch. That Derrick Henry when he jumped up and threw the touchdown that was fucking yeah. sick. And plus, it validates the Patriots a little bit more. Yeah, because the Pats played them better than Baltimore did. Yeah. I mean, Derrick Henry's unstoppable. That's just a fact. I I, I think they pretty make big it to guy, the Super Bowl. pretty big guy. We, we, yeah. is, is that what's up next, or are we going to Magic Time? We're going to Magic Time, man. Jo- right. Joey Bose, appreciate you coming on the show. Oh, appreciate we'll it, thank back, you, man. Well, but, he's not done. I mean, is we he just done? Get, no, we're just getting started. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, here, here comes the Magic Mike minute. We're gonna get it done. Here we go. All right. Yo, Magic Mike. Hey, what's up, Naz? What's yeah. up with Joey Boats? Is he, he's coming, right? Why is it so loud there, dude? Well, I'm at the club right now. Is he fucking st- rocking. Still on the fucking ones and twos. We're, we're waiting on Joey. You're coming, right? Uh, you guys coming? He's coming. Nah, we're not going, man. Joey Boats just got called by El Prez, AD, and the Mass Pirates all after our pod, man. They, they got him, man. He's too good for us. I, I, say, what did you say? I don't know. I just heard a drunk slob in the background. Drunk slob in the background. Dude says pirates. <laughs> AB? Oh. El Prez? Barstool? Oh, what's going on? I'm fighting the rough and rowdy. Miami? Mike Lai? They want me? Alright, man. Have a good night. What? what? Fuck that kid rambles. I don't know what he said. I think he says Joey Buzz isn't coming. I don't fucking know. Joey, Joey, I don't know. We're good. We're good. We're going to keep rocking here. We're rocking. Oh, yeah. Let him rip. Let him rip. Steel, how we doing? Fucking let him rip. <laughs> you still fucked still up? Fucking up? You still fucked up? A little bit, a little bit. Hey, me too. Not really. Yeah, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Daz, you fucked up? Ah, what a shit day. <laughs> you wish you were here, Naz, huh? You always wish you were at the Magic Mike Minute. You're always calling and asking me to make minutes. This is, this, I'm making minutes. I'm making magic, as always. 
And we're still rolling. We're rolling. Play that good stuff. You got that? You got the thong? You got the thong song? You got the thong song? You got the thong song? Of course. We going to JJ's tonight? Of course. All right. We, we ain't stopping. We ain't stopping. So Joey Boats, Joey Boats is going to be here next time. I, I don't know where he had to go. I guess I couldn't really hear him. It said something about fucking nothing. I don't know. Trump called him. The turn sucks. The turn Let's sucks. Go. Damn right it sucks. Royal Rumble's coming, they said. Royal Rumble is coming. Big teaser alert. We're coming in hot sometime soon. We're going to release that soon, too. All right. Let's keep going, still. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got for me? Play! <laughs> Play that music! Play that fucking Funky music! music, white boy! There exactly. you go! Exactly. Shout out Father House! Hey, if you want to sponsor, if you want us to sponsor you, I won't wear this shirt again unless you pay me to wear this shirt. Alright. We're still going. And we're back from, once again I must say it, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're now going to go in the swing of things of my bonehead of the week. And, you know, it's kind of like some breaking news because it just occurred today. So the Houston Texans at a plus – I got them at a plus 10, up 24 nothing after their – I think it was like probably three minutes into the second quarter, right? And then all of a sudden, Pat Mahomes bat out of hell for 41 straight. Bill O'Brien, fourth – Fourth, fourth down and two, like on their own 30. Oh, yeah, let's do a nice fake punt. Like, are you kidding me? Should have talked the Chiefs, dude. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I, I think I, I, I died with that pick. They're 20, up 24. Fuck nothing. Kansas City. It's not even in Kansas. F 51 to 31. You're not even in Kansas. Where are you right now, dude? Ohio? Cleveland? Chill, dude. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. What? <laughs> Ohio? Oh. Ever seen Ohio? I've been there once. Disgusting. Twice. I've been there. Ohio sucks. Youngstown, Ohio is nice still. Don't. Ohio State's beautiful. Cleveland sucks. Okay. <laughs> You're going to Pittsburgh this week. You right? look like someone from Cleveland right now. That's the meanest thing that I've ever said. <laughs> that, that that's was, a, true, true. That was that's really a, like that. Like, I'm pissed. That's a funny that low blow. The, the, the Houston Texans looked like Cleveland today. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be a little bit nicer, but like, that, that was horrible. Yeah, play that's it off. Dude, I fucking week. hate you. <laughs> They're an easy choice. Who, yeah, who yeah. was your back? I mean, who was your backup if they didn't just absolutely um, fuck that up? The way it was did. Earl Thomas because Earl, Thom <laughs> Earl Thomas like just threw shade at the Patriots like for not like stopping Derrick Henry, and then like there's like a like a whole play of like him looking the other way, like not wanting to tackle Derrick Henry, and like he that guy's just another bone. That's my bag. That's a co bonehead of the week. There might be two here. I was just really like the Houston Texans, but Bill O'Brien, that guy's such a jackass. Like this team. They could have they could have hosted the AFC Championship game if they just figured it out and won. Oh no, Pat Mahomes comes down. Travis Kelsey, who's not a tight end, he's a wide receiver. I'm not buying that. He doesn't block. He had four touchdowns and he had over ten receptions. Absolutely ridiculous. Nah, Travis Kelsey, fuck him. Fuck him. Is fuck that man. it though? Is that all? Like, is that your analysis? No, dude, no, <laughs> dude. They gotta fucking no, no, no. Calm down, man. Okay, calm man. down. Calm. calm down. You know, the, the chains are right. Calm down. <laughs> Riff uh, his fuck. anthem right there. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, who sings that? DMX. <laughs> you lucky bastard. Um, <laughs> no, I think they say this. I think the Chiefs are gonna get pumped. Pummeled. They have no defense at all. The, well, like, Titans. There's a, well, yeah, well, there's well, a single dude on that team that can t tackle Derrick Henry. We'll include. We'll include that when we go over our conference championship Sunday. So we're gonna transition on now to steel salute, man. Who's your salute this week? Jake fucking DeBrusque is back. Bruins. Jake's all in. Uh, Pasternak's all in. So why does he get the salute over Pasternak? Where Pasternak's got like, what, like thirty-five plus goals? Because Pasternak's the leading goal scorer in the NHL. MVP. He's, he's going off the yeah, ice. An MVP candidate. Like uh, Jake DeBrusque is back. Yeah, he was almost. Jake he, sucked. He was benched. He was, he was the, literally yeah. benched. He was in the sin. And now he's back. There. So now, it's him. How about Tuukka Rask? Tuukka Rask been playing pretty well. There's a bunch of different. Tuukka Rask is the best. Tuukka Rask is the best goalie in Bruins history. Ooh. People forget that. People Shout forget out to that. Tim Thomas. So we'll get him. Andrew Rakoff, those coho pads, man. Like, couldn't beat those. Couldn't beat those. If you can't really beat those pads, that's no. it's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but why? Why wasn't Derrick Henry your um, steal salute? I thought that that's a pretty good one. I mean, he he just battled. Oh, he's battled over I don't the give Patriots. A in the fuck about that piece of shit. Bama fucking running back. Fuck him. Bama sucks. If he Go walked in, if he walked Warrior. in here right now, <laughs> would you say that to him? 
No, not even. I wouldn't say that to his face at fucking all. (laughs) (laughs) Neither would you. Whoever's watching this, neither would you. You know that. Well, what do you think about this whole fiasco? I mean, I, I, I'm just so I'm so interested. I wish I was with Steele last night. I, I'm envious of his the zone he's in right now. Is I'm envious. <laughs> Dad. To, <laughs> like, being able to roll into a podcast after an all day bender, like I'm envious. <laughs> like, what, I, you clap? No, t- were you clapping for yourself? Too? What yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. He what rolled. He rolled. A peasant. What I was peasant, outside. Yeah. And he rolled around the corner, just looking like, "Let's do this." Like I, I haven't, looking like hell. Haven't slept. <laughs> don't give a shit. Let's record. Let's just press play. Anytime, any place. My steel salutes actually to Mr. Mike Steele. Why not? Why not? Why not? You should have. You should have <laughs> saluted yourself for being. That's here. cocky. I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Well, be cocky. Be cocky. A little confidence, you know, get it going. You had a, you had a this night. Confidence is cocky. <laughs> can't be, can't be. Not many, myself. not many people show up. You showed up, and that's all that matters. You showed up. You could, you could have called us today and been like, fellas, I, I, I've been letting it rip a little too much. <laughs> cowardice, cowardice. We're on to the pub. He's still drinking. Defend the wall. <laughs> what was He's... your favorite shot today? I was sweating. Oh, come on, I sent you up. And we go. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> and we go into the pub after this. Ah, Get, no. oh, where are you going? Where are you going? I went so nowhere. I can't be stopped. I'm so so we going back to the that. pub after this. This is the real question. shot is the next one. I'm so <laughs> mad. I fucked that up. Ah. Conference Championship Sunday. I honestly don't think anyone's ever going to get that joke, by the way. I, you did, someone will eventually. I when we get Tom right Brady there. on, when we get that Tom Brady on here, oh man, that, that's gonna be something. <laughs> I can't wait till he comes on. <laughs> Rachel Star, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, she's coming real yeah. soon. What's up, girl? So conference championship Sunday this is coming up. We got Kansas City favored by seven points. That spreads already out, baby. I already got that off and loaded. They're playing the number six seed, the rolling, the go in the Tennessee Titans. Titans. Who do you like in this one? Titans. Titans. All, Titans. all right. Or spread? What's the spread? Seven. Outright. Outright. Kansas City's favorite by seven. Grow up. Grow up. Outright. I'm, I'm going Titans outright as well. Titans outright as well? I like it. I, I like it. I thought their whole, like I was saying, the game plan of the Patriots and Baltimore Ravens was like, okay, if we try to make Ryan Tannehill beat us, we just got to stop Derrick Henry. They can't stop that barrel out of hell. I Same thing goes. I, I think it's going to be tough because Kansas City's um, offense is just – I mean, you saw the game um, today where they just put up like forty-one points, like no one's business. They ended up with fifty-one. But like, if you told me Derrick Henry was bigger than every single person <laughs> on Kansas City's defense, I believe you. I, I every yeah. single one of them. Uh, he's not going to be stopped. He's not going to be stopped. They got some monstrosity. Can't be stopped. As long as he can't be stopped, they can't be stopped, and they're going to take his legs out. That's about the only way they're beating them. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, he, he's in Nashville. Like he's been playing Nashville in his uh. Ethel Chris, so far, what do you think his like bar like barbecue go to is like that guy's guys like give me all the meat, the yeah. whole thing he gets brisket, yeah. catfish, ribs, and the everything. hockey talk, dude. It's the only way to do it. Yeah. Ha- Hattie B's when you're hungover. I could if we had some Hattie B's right now, dude, I'd be going crazy. That's what the fuck's Hattie B's. Oh, it's the best like fried chicken in the world. Some man. shit, man. It's some brisket. shit. I bet it's he eats that too. He eats the whole kitten caboodle. Oh my god, he, that's a big boy. That is a imagine big man. Him, imagine him with a woman. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't even think I'll imagine that. Well, may, if I maybe hot and steamy will sign him when he's ready for it. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Joey Boats. Yeah. <laughs> but Joey Boats? Why are we showing him up? Oh, we're talking about like getting on camera. Of just like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sex tapes, hot and steamy. Yeah, yeah. So now it's all coming. Get with it or get it's lost. It's all yeah. Get with it or get lost. It's all coming. We got so much coming this year. It's not even funny. More more than Derrick Henry. I mean, Derrick Henry's coming for that ass. So who knows? <laughs> So we got Packers coming for that. Uh, we got Packers up fourteen and three right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it here. So it's gonna be the Packers. You wore the wrong the jersey, huh? I know, I know. It's tough. I mean, beast mode. You got I mean, it's his last game. You gotta, you gotta respect it. You gotta wear it out. B- bring back the chain. So why in the? You're so quick to. What what quarter is it? Um, they're driving again. It's the second quarter. If they lose, so be it. But like, uh, either way, I think I'd, you got to stick with your team. Second uh, quarter. The second it's quarter. It's fourteen three. It's not okay. Big. They can come back. Yeah. Stick with it. Come on, grow stick up. with them. I know. I got. I got to grow up. But my point. My <laughs> point exactly is: no matter who gets there, Green Bay or Seattle, this San Fran team oh, yeah. is a wagon. Yeah, they're not they're, just they're Jimmy Garoppolo. 
Shout out who's a Kira Mia, the um, porn star he banged. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He he banged I don't some know. porn I should star. Know, but I don't know. Since, I'm since, sorry. Since then they haven't like lost like they haven't lost like ever. And their defense been showing out. They put Minnesota Vikings in their place the other day. I could see this spread no matter who they're playing. It, it's probably gonna be around like five or six. I'd take them for the spread because their defense is immaculate. They have offensive weapons like you read about Emmanuel Sanders, um, that Breida, all those running backs. Jimmy G, man, he could. I think he's gonna get a Super Bowl ring. I think he's gonna get another one this year. Disgusting. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> like, that was awful. How was it awful? Jimmy G, Elaborate. fuck him. All right, then what's your, what's your fucking pick, then? <laughs> I, I, I actually made so sense. Bad. Yeah, you said, you said fuck him. Let, let me hear something. Let me hear no, it's mostly here. fuck Paul, but it's mostly... <laughs> mo- You're yeah, fucking like, look him in the eyes. Uh, I know. Um, <laughs> you fucking hand away. Fuck off, dude. Well, you don't... All right, you don't have... Like, what's your pick? I'm, I'm coming up with the pick right now. <laughs> well, you gotta pick. You gotta pick who's winning tonight, even because who who's winning this game Seahawks. right now? Seahawks are winning. The Seahawks are winning tonight, and the Seahawks are gonna go to the Super Bowl. Okay, that's his pick. Look, see, right, look how we go. I want a different approach, and I got it right out. There you go. I don't. I know I don't how like to get what game. I need out of. I don't steel. like this. Oh yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty fucking. Mean weird. kid, fuck. It was guy. a little mm-hmm. sexual. Yeah. I mean, what of it? I mean, I. Go back to the Magic Mike Mitty. You never know what can happen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Magic Mike, what's your pick here? Who do you got? Uh, I'm going <laughs> Seahawks. Seahawks win tonight, <laughs> but I the no. 49ers are going the Super Bowl. No, still. Jimmy G, I, you got fucked, dude. Fuck no, off. I like him. Oh, he I'm likes disgusting. porn stars. He's a good-looking dude. I like him. I want to ride with. I want to fucking ride out there Gross. and cheer them on. I'm all in on San Fran. I like Cali teams. Jimmy G I'm, is looking like Jason Statham from Crank 2. I will share it that she way. Is, she is. He looks like a young Magic. He looks like a young Magic Mike. You ever seen He's Crank actually two? 20. We're the same age. <laughs> we're the same age, which really hurts when you see that on the screen. When you see someone's your age and they're just killing it. It's Even upset. Gardner Minshew. I found out Gardner Minshew this week is 23. Yeah, that, like, that's killed, that's that killed my soul. <laughs> That killed me. I'm five years old. I feel like a fucking like a. I'm a grown adult, and look what he's got. And I got. He's riding around, living my dream. I got it. <laughs> can't like, even, is like, everything you, you can't want even to be. pick me up. I'm writing. Up, I'm writing fake blogs about how I want to be driving around the goddamn country with him, and he's doing it. And he's five years my my. Whatever the younger. I can tell you've been thinking about this for like. It's a while. been pissed. I wrote that blog with the absolute intention to be on that goddamn RV with him. And he's going completely off tour. He's in freaking Colorado. That was not on the list. Not there. Not Colorado there. is not on the tour list. I don't know that what is, he's doing there. If you're on a tour and like you just put like tour places and you just don't go there, you just go to other places. Like that, that's the I wrote dream. an excellent that's, tour that's for the man. Time. That's big time. We were going to his hometown, Flowood. We were going to fucking Austin, Texas for a South by Southwest. <laughs> Get back at the screen. We were going to freaking Sedona to do psychedelics, and he's just gone so off the radar. I don't know what he's doing. I'm worried about him. He's, I know. he's hunting ducks. Will the Jaguars ever get back to postseason play? Who knows? Will he ever be a <laughs> starting quarterback ever again? We may never know. He should run with me. He should run Ten with me. Ten and six, man. Ten and six. The, the Jaguars are coming in hot. I'll make him the biggest porn star in the industry by the end of the year if he comes and rides with me. And we'll end on that note. Thanks, folks, for tuning in. Man. <laughs> Joey Boats was a big help on the show. You know, if anyone would like to write for our blog, you know, the Steel and Nas podcast blog there, we're making London at rip. Including you, Joey. Yes. I don't know what they're you. paying you at Brandon you. Sports, but we want you. We want you. Write for us. Also, we'll throw you, you on salary. Also, if you like to purchase any Steel and Nas t-shirts... We've been waiting for them. Hopefully they come in. <laughs> They're coming. Sooner than later. They're coming. They're coming. Same with Rachel Starr. She's Rachel coming Starr's too. coming too in multiple ways. Merch, merch, merch. Merch. That's and all- Steel's going to get back to neutral some point, sometime soon? Yeah. Some point. Some time soon. Probably last call. <laughs> That's all from Steel and Naz. Naz Music Radio's Pioneer Podcast. One love, baby. Yeah.